Hello everyone, how are you guys? I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, this is lecture number three in statistic for all series. Uh, today our topic of discussion is scale of measurement. So Koka Manzoor is here, teacher, trainer and life coach. Uh, you can see my number, you can see Facebook page link and YouTube channel, all these things. So hope you are enjoying my lecture. So today we are going to discuss what is scale of measurement, right? Okay, so what do you mean by scale? And what do you mean by measurement? So there are two words. Measurement simply means that when we are gathering the data, so we are gathering the data in form of numbers. So means we want to measure them, right? So sometimes as we have studied in previous lecture that there are some data which are qualitative, some data is quantitative. So quantitative is simple and easy to understand, but sometimes we have data in qualitative nature, right? So how to measure it? So we want to convert them into the numbers, right? So similarly, this is what is measurement and to be able to assign the numbers to the attributes of the objects, we need a scale. So sometimes we have data in objects, uh, sorry, in, in, uh, in attributes and characteristics and qualitative in nature. So uh, we have to develop a scale to convert into, into the numbers, right? So scale of measurement simply means that a tool or a mechanism by which an individuals are distinguished as how as to how they differ from one another on the variables of the interest. So we collect the data on the various forms. We have marks, numbers, patient diseases, their recovery, their attitudes, perceptions, right? Uh, so hundreds and thousands of variables. So they are of different natures. So we have to use different uh, scales of measurement for different types of data, right? So we are having four scales uh, of measurement, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. So to remember it, uh, let me give you an acronym that is called as Neuer, N-O-I-R, Neuer. So if you remember that Neuer, so hopefully you will not forget these uh, names, right? Nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio, right? Okay, what is nominal scale? Nominal scale means when the data are labels or names used to identify an attributes of the element. So sometimes we have data in categorical form, right? So we have a very nominal kind of data uh, where we just have different categories. So that is called as nominal data. So we normally give a non-numeric label or sometimes we can give a numeric code, hypothetical code to it, right? For example, like we say how many of the students uh, in your college, they are male and female. So we just make a questionnaire. So we did male or female. So you take one of them, right? And similarly, if there's a transgender or anything, so we can add the categories. So that is called as nominal data, right? So you see university of students are classified uh, the school in which they're enrolled using non-numeric labels. So non-numeric will be what? Some will be business students, some are studying humanities, some are studying education, engineering, medical, etc. So that is called as nominal data. So it's non-numeric label, right? There's no numbers. But we can also give them numbers like, for example, we assign one number to business students, uh, second number to humanities, third to education, fourth to engineering, five to medical, etc. Right. So these are hypothetical numbers that can be even a voice over size as well. Right. Like, for example, we can assign one to education, two to humanities, three to business, four to medical, five to uh, engineering, etc. etc. Right. So that is called as nominal scale so where we have just some categories and we divide the data based on certain categories right then the next stage is uh, sorry uh, characteristics of the nominal scale are they are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive means you will be one of the five or four categories like you cannot say that i am like i am uh, i am studying business humanities and education all <clears throat> right so when you are collecting the data so either you will be a business student or a humanities or an education. Either you will be a male or a female or a transgender or anything else, right? So this is how. Either you will be uh, Hindu, Christian, Muslim or any other religion, right? You or whatever. So we, this is called as mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means one is selected, the other cannot be select, selected, right? <clears throat> and collectively exhaustive, you can choose one option. So your options are exhaustive now, right? So you cannot choose the second option in it, third option in it. So in this, uh, when we collect the data, so we later can use frequencies and counts and modes, etc. Right. So uh, don't worry about this thing. You will you can study in, in next lecture as well. What is ordinal? <coughs> ordinal means when we have 
uh, along with the nominal uh, means we are dividing the data into category as well as we want to have an order of preference as well or we want to rank the data in some meaningful meaningful form right so in nominal we just categorize the data in different to different categories and now we are doing it in some order or some rank or some preferences as well right so it may be again non numeric label or numeric code may be used like for example you can see in university uh, we can categorize the data uh, based on freshman sophomore junior and senior so it's there is a rank right first one is freshman uh, second is sophomore then junior then senior we cannot say uh, we can reverse it like first is senior and then junior right so we know that when the student is entered into the college so they are freshmen then they become sophomore then junior and senior etc similarly we can assign them the number freshman is 1 sophomore 2 junior 3 senior 4 or the best use of these uh, ordinal uh, scale is when we are uh, doing the data in in collecting the data to see the order of preference like for example i give you five brands of uh, cold drinks or anything right and i just ask you to rank it based on your own preference so you will say this is my top priority this is my second priority this is third and fourth and fifth similarly we can ask from the second person then the third person then the fourth what is your top five movies right so you can categorize them. so we just write four or five movies and you say just uh, select the best one then the second best then the third best and so forth right so this is how we can make it so this type of scale can provide information about some items having more or less of an attribute than other so if you prefer one over another so this means you are you are liking that specifically in marketing we are using this uh, ordinal scale you just want to see the what is the preference of the uh, customer over that brand right similarly in medical we can say uh, which um, uh, treatment is being more preferred by the patients so even uh, though differences in the uh, ranking of the object person even investigated are clearly known but we do not know their magnitude so what is the difference that is still lacking in this order of preference that will be used in the next uh, scale like what does it mean uh, magnitude magnitude here means that like how much is the difference between one and the two two and the three they may be equal and they may not be equal right like you like something very much and the second best is you just like like it's just an ordinary thing for you but so you just you have to put it on the second number so you just write it second and then to the third and then fourth so there's too much difference between one and the two so there's too much magnitude so when you collect the data we can use frequencies mean uh, median and mode etc right we'll discuss these things in chapter number two frequency distribution you can see there interval scale uh, what is interval when we have data in uh, subjective variables right like we have subjective variables uh, what is subjective variables we have different types of attitudes uh, and so we want to know that uh, what is their preference on it so we always give numbers to it right so data is always numeric so data has the properties of ordinal and interval be, uh, between the observation is expressed in terms of fixed unit of measure. now we have the we have the categories we have the preferences as well in this data means both the properties of the previous two uh, scales plus we also give them a number now what does it mean for example you see we make a scale one to five and we uh, give them like one is uh, for example strongly disagree and then it is somewhat agree uh, disagree then neither agree nor disagree then agree then strongly agree right what like for example if i ask you i believe my college education has prepared me well to begin my career so if you strongly agree to this statement so you will give five like for example here you will take this and here we will assign a number five then here four then sorry then here three neither three two and one so we can even write it here right like let me make it so that you can it will be easier for you so we can assign it one and we can assign it to three and four and here they are five right so this is how we can make it 
so this is called interval scale right so the next is ratio scale ratio scale have all the properties of interval if of uh, ordinal and you can say uh, the nominal all the properties are there in the ratio scale and ratio have two values that is meaningful so what are the ratio scale when we have data in height weight uh, income sell uh, salaries uh, sales right um, all these in profitability etc right so what is the most important element in it the the it must contain a zero value that indicates nothing exists for the variable at the zero point I mean it has a true zero value like here if you see these one two three four five are hypothetical numbers right in this just uh, five shows the maximum and one shows the other extreme maximum right so actually there is these one two three four are not real numbers but in this case if we say your height is uh, let's suppose um, five feet so that five feet means five feet right your weight is 60 pounds so uh, sorry 80 pounds so means 80 means 80 right so then these are the, all the real numbers so uh, you see melissa college record shows that 36 credit hours earned while Kelvin record shows 72 credit hours, uh, credit hours earned, right? So this means that Kelvin has twice as many credit hours earned during uh, earned as Melissa. So this means that you see Melissa has half of the credit hours as compared to the Kelvin. So we have real figures, real numbers. So marks, sales, uh, height, weight, time, all these are measured as ratio scale. So nominal, we just have categories, then ordinal, we have categories plus order of preference, and then interval, we have measurements, means one, two, three, four, five, but there is no true zero, but, and the ratio, we have exact measurement with the true zero, means zero means zero, one means one, 10 means 10, right? But in case of interval, uh, we assign hypothetical numbers, right? So mostly ordinal and nominal data, we, uh, we scale are used when we have qualitative data means categories mostly non-numeric and quantitative data then we have interval and ratio scale so i hope the concept is clear now if there's any questions you can ask uh, anyway thank you very much take care stay blessed see you in the next video right